We are going to tell you how to design a logo from start to finish. Did I say we? Yes. That's because I'm collaborating with my very good friend EKD to do this. By the way, my name is Dennis Joshua and if this is your first time here and the videos you see on this channel looks like your interest, consider subscribing and turn on the bell so you get notified when I upload a new video like this one. So designing a logo seems quite simple to create but designing a great one isn't always easy. It involves a lot of research, a deep knowledge of your buyer's persona and a thoughtful consideration of the principles of logo design. Most times designers find themselves creating many variations of a single logo before getting it right. So in this video I collaborated with EKD to teach you how to design a logo from start to finish. EKD, say hi to the audience. Hi guys, my name is EKD and I'm a brand specialist, I'm a brand identity designer and all I do is to create content that will enable everyone that will come in contact with my channel become a very 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 good brand identity designer i will leave a link in the description so you can subscribe to his channel and learn more about logo design ekd take it from here so what i'll be talking on today is how to design a logo from start to finish all right i'm gonna try my possible best to break it down in a way that you can understand and we're going to likely have um practicals all right i'm gonna have practical sessions all right so just pay attention even as we begin so what i'll do basically is to share this this process into three different phases all right i'm gonna give you three d's so the first d is digest so what do i mean by digest you receive a brief and you are you are giving this brief to read through it all right we know most times we know this is this is a normal way to do things get to understand the brief and all that but we're going to take it a step further all right Take it a step further you are going to gather as much as you can gather about the brand you don't just jump into doing the logo by knowing few things all right you have to know everything that you have to know about what about the brand you want to know what they do all right you want to know more about their personality you want to know more about their core values so those help to form what help to form what you call your logo that's the first thing you want to do because most designers they make the mistake of jumping into just designing so you don't do that you don't do that as a professional brand identity designer you don't do that all right what you do first is to know more about the brand all right engage your client engage them ask them questions about their brand ask them about their competitors you want to know their competitors you want to know what you are creating for them all right the other question you might likely ask them all right what they what they tend to be in future all right do they tend to are, are they going to expand in future you want to know these things so you know how to position them always because that would determine greatly how the logo is going to look that would greatly determine the kind of logo type you are going to use if you are going to use lettering if you are going to use a word mark so that will greatly what determine so the first one you digest what you digest the brand you digest what the brief all right you take it in and you just suck everything you have to suck in about the brand all right so number two we have what we have the draw so i'm told i'm going to give you three d so the second d is draw so what do i mean by draw you know these ideas don't just come from anywhere this um we talked about digesting all right designers are stranded because they don't have um, enough idea about the company they don't have enough knowledge about the company so creativity mainly feeds on what you know you understand you cannot just jump on your on your computer and start designing something from from a, a knowledge you don't have so ideas begin to come from what you've digested all right so when these ideas begin to come you begin to draw while drawing you want to sketch different ideas sometimes you might be up to 20 sometimes it might just be few all right it depends on you it depends on you you just sketch the different ideas you you take from their core value from their core value is it, is it a simple brand is it a premium brand so those 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 their core values begins to form an idea in your head and those ideas you begin to what you begin to begin to pen it down like what i said before they won't come from anywhere they will come from the knowledge you have about the brand so make sure you get enough knowledge because before you start drawing so while drawing you can use if you can use just a pen and a paper all right use a pen and a paper you start sketching you start sketching the different ideas you have okay 
like i said you can use a logo book you can just use a drawing paper and your pen all right so uh, we're just going to do something for an imaginary brand g telecom all right so let's just get started so we'll just try to document our ideas by drawing all right let's start by playing with the brand initials the gt we might have to draw for instance we might have to draw the different samples or the different um, logo forms from our idea all right so we we'll just try to do something all right you mustn't know how to draw all right what makes it perfect is your computer system although some persons know how to draw some persons know how to draw so they just they just have that advantage but it is not compulsory you know how to draw all right so we are what we're trying to play with is maybe the brand the brand name all right the initials the word the initials so we just keep drawing we just keep drawing we just keep drawing just allow the ideas flow all right allow the idea to flow so we are trying to do something for some things you can play with is the all right the brand name you can play with the initials all right just play with the initials play with the initial till you find something good all right just play with the initial till you find something very 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 good very 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 good all right I have something like this and have something like this so most times if you see something that you are you are okay with you can just try to refine it all right you can try to refine it so trying to use the brand initials might just come from um our first um our first d all right digesting the logo when you are the logo you have to know more about the brand name all right you have to know more about the brand name. so these those are things you can play with and that's what we're trying to play with we're trying to play with the gt so if i see some something that i like all right what i usually do is that i have to make it bigger all right i have to make it bigger i have to make it what bigger all right and at the end of the day you just look at it and pick the best all right pick the best pick what you have to pick what the best all right the best of the best the one that will suit the personality what of the brand all right so that's for that so the number three and the last is what designing the third d is what designing most times people are already used to designing all right they jump the first and second step they just um go into designing but you don't design first all right no remember the last step we talked about is drawing we talked about what we talked about drawing so when you bring your sketches in front of your screen you want to choose the best and there are three things that de determines what you choose all right so that would determine what you choose so it does not matter if you draw um 20 samples it does not matter if you sketch them um 20 ideas it doesn't matter so these three things will determine number one how simple how simple is that sketch all right so you, you look at all your sketch how simple which is the simplest all right which is the simplest another thing you want to look at is which is most unique which is most distinctive all right you don't want to form because most times when you're forming ideas from your head the first thing that begins to come are, are things you've seen before all right so you don't want your logo to to begin to look like something um, um some brand already have all right after looking at the one that is the most simple all right you look at also the one that is most distinctive from others all right that is very 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 important you look at the one that is mostly what unique because every brand as it was is unique personality all right so if i find something cool i just need to make it bigger all right so so what do you what do you think about it? i think this this is this is okay all right this is okay for the sake of this tutorial this is okay so the last thing you want to consider before choosing the the logo to to design or to execute all right because the design stage is also called the execution stage when you execute your ideas all right so what you want to lastly consider is how flexible that form is right how flexible that sketch is 
sometimes out of the 20 sketch three might meet up to these standards all right don't get me wrong three might meet up to the standards. so it might not just be one all right so you look at it is it flexible enough what do i mean by flexibility how long can this logo start can it stand the, the test of time can it appear on on all kinds of surfaces all right so you don't want to make a logo that is not flexible all right like you see this logo it is very flexible we can break it down into different different segments all right and it will still show that it is owned by the brand so this is what i mean by flexibility this is a very typical example of flexibility no matter how you break it down so that's flexibility for you all right so you want to take note it has to be what flexible and then looking at all your forms and picking the ones that meet up to the standard we mentioned we just mentioned which is um flexibility distinctiveness and simplicity So finally we've got we've got something all right that is simple something that is distinctive i don't think you've seen this kind of mark as well so it's, dis it's distinctive so you you can do more than four for of course you can do more than four some persons do up to 20. so it depends on what you want it depends on um how the idea keeps coming all right so this is what we are going to go with if all of them meet the standard then you take them to your to your computer all right that's that's when you execute the four of them let's just get to the computer so one way you can get to the computer is by taking a snapshot all right so i'll just i'll just use my mobile phone to take a snapshot of it so or you can scan it into your computer so which, whichever way so i'll just take a snapshot of it all right i'll take a snapshot of it with my mobile phone I'll take a snapshot of it so that's typically it that's typically it Going into executing proper, choose a software to use. Adobe Illustrator is one of the best, alright, to execute what you've sketched, alright. So what you want to do is you want to use your your shape builder tool, alright. Do not draw. Um, I'll just go back to the drawing stage a bit. Do not draw something that is very complex, alright. Do not draw some. It's not advisable for logos to be complex, alright. You can check my other videos. You see, you see why a logo should not be very complex. So you want to draw something that is very simple. Because logos that contain um, basic shapes are easily what remembered. They are memorable, all right? So you want to take note of that, all right? So what you do is you take it to Illustrator. You use your shape builder tool to build this shape that you've sketched, all right? Sometimes you might use, you might want to use the golden ratio. All right, check my other video. If you don't know about the golden ratio, you can check my other video where I use the golden ratio to design the logo. You can use grid, all right? You can use grid. Why do we use grid? It makes the logo symmetric. Like what I say in my videos, um, one of the core things that make everything beautiful is when they are what? Symmetric. You want it to be well aligned, all right? So that's what we mean by being symmetric. So you either use the grid or use the golden ratio to execute it. And all can be done by using your Adobe Illustrator. So for this one, we are going to use our, our basic shapes, all right? We are going to use basic shapes to form what we have here. That's why you must make your logo simple because there are, there are many, many advantages of making your logo simple. So let's just insert our, our caption, all right? So I'm going to just make my grid visible, right? I'll make it a little bit transparent so I can trace it. So we'll rotate it a bit, rotate a bit. Okay, I think this is okay. This is okay then we just have to lock the layer so it does not move all right so the next thing to do is to start drawing your basic shapes all right like we said we're going to use basic shapes so i'm going to draw my circle so i'm i'm typically just tracing it all right i'm just tracing it so i'm just going to place my shapes on everywhere i find lines all right place my shapes on everywhere i find lines all right so we're going to make another circle for the second line, second outer line, all right? Okay, I think that's okay, that's okay, that's okay, okay, better, better. Okay, I think what we need now is a rectangle. So we are typically just tracing, that's what you do for your own uh, marks, you can just trace through it with your basic shapes. That's why I said if you are making your own logo, just use basic shapes so you can easily trace it, all right? There are many advantages to using basic shapes. If it's usually more complex than this, you have to use your golden ratio, all right? 
or your grading systems so but for this we are using our basic shapes so we're going to place our rectangle lower parts right so move it down a bit okay move it down a bit make make sure it's well aligned make sure it's well aligned all right make sure it's well aligned so now we're going to apply our shape builder tool it's easy to use if you click on the plus you can start adding just draw through the parts you want to be visible all right so i'm just going to draw through this place then you you can change to the minus to be showing the minus sign then you can just remove the unwanted parts of it all right you can see that our mark has started showing right so you just remove the unwanted parts you can see that it is it is straighter than before we've done fine tuning right that was why i said you know how to draw is not that important so what we're just going to do let's remove the okay i think it's okay now you can see it's, it's very 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 neat and clean very neat and clean so after now you can just try to apply colors all right you can try to apply color. but let's just add the text first let's add the name of the company right let's add the name of the company first so like what you said g telecom right g telecom so that's what we're simply going to write g telecom okay g telecom so just try things try the one that works for you all right um i don't think this um this geo caps works works well okay i have to change it so we're going to add colors now let's just add the color i think we're going to use green right i think green is okay so all this will come from all right your idea all right your idea of the brand so it will not come from anywhere to come from ideas so that is why there has to be an already existing idea so let's just change the font to a ticker one i think this is okay this is perfect okay this is perfect so i'll likely just reduce the whole thing so i can see it properly and i'll align the the type properly or align the font pop properly right so this is what we have at the at the end of the day i think this is very cool this is this is this is beautiful so what you want to do at the end of the day you can apply it to mock-ups just like this different kinds of mock-up so what, what do you think about this what do you think about this i want i want to i want you to to comment what you think about this all right i want to comment what you think about this i have all that videos all right all that videos that goes in depth to all these concepts i've mentioned all right all that practical examples so you can do well to check them out all right so we're going to call it a day all right we're going to call it today so i want to say a big thank you to delight graphics for hosting me right here on his channel and i want to um appeal to you all to subscribe all right subscribe to this wonderful awesome channel and look out for other videos all right other collaborations in the future i hope you've been able to learn something do not forget the three d's we mentioned we mentioned what we mentioned digest we mentioned what draw and we mentioned what design which is the execution stage all right and i want you to know for the execution stage that you might have a very good idea but if it is poorly executed it becomes what it becomes nothing all right so you have to take note of execution so that's it for today bye see you next time so i guess you learned a lot from this video and if that's so leave a like and make sure you share this video with a friend thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video peace